Level 1 the caves, there's two tiles on the main route. Keep running through and you'll find them like that. The next 14 come in the city of Vilcabamba as you come to this area. If you follow the way I do it, you'll get an extra trophy. Jump over the first tile, then come back and find that secret area. Run and jump across to the next tile and climb up. You've got a few seconds to do this, so don't worry too much. But you'll get the achievement for exiting through the same window that you came in on. The next set of tiles come as you progress the story. You'll enter this room with the water. Sorry, I don't know that. Keep running forward, run over the four tiles and then drop back down and climb up to the next section, which contains the next eight tiles. Once you're up here, run around the back section first. Run at this platform and then run across the final three. That is all 14 tiles. Next, you skip into level four, Tomb of Qualopec. You come to these movable blocks, push them out of the way and run over the tile. As you progress, you'll come to this area which drops down to the wolves for the second tile. And then finally, when you get to the steps with the darts, climb up next to the statue to unlock the secret area which contains the final eight tiles. St. Francis Folly only contains one in this secret area from the starting section. Do a bit of careful manoeuvring to climb up to this area. Once you're up, you can see the floor tile in the corner there. Run over this for the one out of one. Next, we're in Palace Midas. Again, on the main route, you'll find these three tiles here. Run over to the right, pick up the collectible, then jump across. Make sure to go back to get the third one. The final tile comes in the palace garden. Pull this lever hidden behind the tree to open the secret area. Run through being careful of the chomping blades. You can jump over this and that will collapse the tile for you. As such, that's all four. Level eight, the cistern. All five of these are in the main area in the final room. Everyone but the top left has spikes underneath it, so do be careful, but it's super nice and easy. Finally, Tomb of Tiakan, as you're sliding down this ramp, jump halfway down and bear left. You'll enter a secret area with these five tiles. Keep your guns drawn and do side flips and front jumps to get across all five. Nice and sweet. Natla's Mines only contains one breakable floor tile, which again is on the main route. You'll jump across this roof here and drop down. We push on to the Great Pyramid when you get to this section with the movable blocks. Climb up the block and jump up to the area with the chomp and blades. You'll be able to hear them. Run across this and through the blades and that is your first tile. The boulders, again unmissable section on the main route. And then finally when you get to this trap section, jump to the first tile and side flip and then jump forward and that should unlock all three. Just past this at the bottom, climb up to the ledge and then shimmy to the right. Drop down with your weapons drawn and side flip immediately. Keep the button held to side flip a second time and that'll unlock all three tiles and get you past the boulder. Finally, we come to the section with the swan dive, jump across the secret area first and that'll unlock the achievement. After us, the deluge. For 50 gamer score for making all shuttle floor panels crash on a single walkthrough. Now it is important to note that this does actually carry across multiple playthroughs it has been reported by many, many gamers. So if you do miss any and you have saves in certain levels, just flick back through. Hope this has been super quick and super nice and easy for you. Happy hunting. Until next time.